guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. My little sister tonight is going to be joining us on a YouTube video and a special thing on Facebook. This gal right here is the guru and all the specialty items that you find seasonal. So I told her, I said, I'm going to teach you tonight how to make your own treat at home. because She loves coffee and, and hot tea and all kinds of things. So this is my little sister. Hi. And so I'm going to teach her something real simple and something that you can do at home as well. As you know, a lot of people are trying to get away from a lot of chemicals and different items, whether it be in your beauty items or whether it be in your foods. So anytime that you can remove that thumbprint as much as possible, it's a good thing. So also, it's always good to save money. So this is a way that you can save money and still have some really cool stuff at home for treats for you or your little sister or whoever you have coming to your home. So this is what I was talking about. Okay. All right, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make your own creamer, okay? Now, there's a lot of different recipes floating on blogs and out on the internet, and so you pick and choose what you like and what you want to put into your um, coffee creamers or things that you like. So I found something that I felt was easy to make that was removing a lot of, of chemicals that you get through the drive through yet was still really good. So what I did is I bought one can of your Eagle brand or any brand, it doesn't have to be this brand, of your sweetened condensed milk. So all you're going to do is put that bad boy into, I use a mason jar. Whole thing. Whole thing, all the whole 14 ounces. So the recipe that I found called for the sweetened condensed milk. And I've actually put this on my website, so that's probably good right there. Okay. One, now this is some sweet stuff. So that by itself, depending on what you add to it, is going to give you a lot of sweet flavor in your coffee. You could probably play with this. You could probably put vanilla in it and different spices and do different things like that for different flavors. But what we're going to go for is the pumpkin. Okay. Now the recipe called for pumpkin puree. I went different on this. I was playing with the recipe. I love this stuff. I love, do you know, Trader Joe's, if you have a Trader Joe's near you, if you can get there like once a month and get a lot of their items, just stock up, they have a lot of good products. And a lot of their products also, as you know, is non-GMO. So that's a good route to go. I had their pumpkin butter. I have pumpkin puree. If you just got straight pumpkin puree, maybe you've grown pumpkins or you're making pumpkin butter on your own, you can use that. That's not going to be a problem. But right here, I thought we would try this. So the recipe calls for about a half a cup, so about two heaping tablespoonfuls and just plop it in there. Now, the items that are already in this is like cinnamon, nutmeg. What all is in there on the side? We've got all kinds of um, honey, lemon juice, ginger, nutmeg. It's got the full cloves. So it's all the spices that you would find typically in a pumpkin pie or pumpkin butter spice. Now, do you mix this together? All you gotta mix it together. She's gonna get that left hand going. She's <laughs> gonna whip it up just like that. Just gonna let it go. Now, I'm, I'm the only lefty in the family. Um, yeah. Only redhead too. Yep. So, well, you're gonna set more than that. So oh, you want to okay. get it. You want to get it like thorough. thorough. A lot of times, people use like those little mixers, but you just want to get it, you know, completely thorough, thoroughly through to get it. And you gotta work with it for a while because that sweetened condensed milk is really, really sweet. Now, I'm finding that um, a lot of times when you make your homemade creamers at home, it's good to keep them in the refrigerator, obviously. But about seven to ten days is going to be your shelf life. So if you're making coffee in the morning before you're running to work or taking the kids to school or whatever you do, and a lot of times people are guilty of running through a certain drive-through, handing out a four or five, you know, four or five bucks, and getting a latte or something like that. Once you try this at home, you're not going to be doing that because simply number one, you're going to save a lot of money, and number two, you're going to be able to flavor this as strong as you like. I don't know about you, but a lot of times that these coffee houses, I, while I think they're great in a lot of ways, and it's a fun treat, a lot of times anything that they provide is too strong for me. Too sweet. I have to drink much. water with it in order to literally flush it because it's too strong for my body. So this is a great way for you to pull back on something or add a little bit more of this. All right, so then you're going to take a cup of coffee. Obviously, we know we've already brewed some fresh organic coffee here. If you can brew organic coffee over whatever you can buy wherever else, is that much better for you. Um, if it's something you consume every day and you can save on the whole chemical factor, you know, as far as reducing it, you need to do so. I only put about a heaping uh, table, a teaspoon in. Teaspoon. I don't, I am a vanilla person. I love vanilla in my coffee. That's personally me, but this has proven to be a very good treat right now, especially um, if you have coffee cake or whatever. So play with it. You may want to add a little bit more, a little bit less. But those are the only two ingredients that you would mix. And again, check your ingredients. What can you do or not do? And, and a lot of folks use um, 
different creams with vanilla and then puree and then add their spices. But if I can find a good shortcut and still cheat a little bit, but yet be so much better off and save money, I'm going to try that first. It's what's easy. Okay. All right, make there, whipped cream. Now, you can make your own whipped cream. I'll be doing a whole separate video on that, on how to make whipping cream and butter. we one video in one. But a lot of times when you're going and you're going to spin the splurge and have a sweet treat, you're going to have some type of whipped cream. So we're going to do that. And then, I'm sorry, the best topping of all is the cinnamon. I, just a splash or two of cinnamon on top. I think it makes, whether it's a vanilla latte or pumpkin spice or whatever, I think that that, that makes it. Okay, taste test. What do you think? Get there. That is really good. I told you. And, you know, like you said, the sugar, it's not too sweet. And if you wanted more, you could add more. This is a good base. It's an even kill taste. Yeah. And then you get the sweet, of course, from your whipping cream or whatever. And like I said, you don't, you can, you pick and choose your toppings, what best suits you. But uh, as far as all the recipes that I found, those two items together, you can't go wrong. And it's simple. I'm glad you did this with me. Oh, nice. I know. <laughs> Y'all have a good night. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you out. Gives you some ideas for more ways for you to make more sweet treats at home. And we'll talk to you soon. Y'all take care.